The house that we're in today um, is uh, a custom uh, uh, single family residence. Uh, it's built in an older neighborhood. It's a combination of uh, 1900s, through early 1900s through 1940s houses. And the customers came to us specifically wanting a low energy house, but not necessarily knowing what, what route they should take to achieve that. And so initially there was discussions of having um, a roof that was you know, entirely com comprised of photovoltaic panels. Um, and at the time, um, we, shortly before that, we had become aware of the passive house standard. The passive house standard um, had, has its origins in, um, in the US in the 1970s. Um, the, some Germans um, expanded the ideas behind um, the concept, which are, are super insulation, um, air tightness, thermal bridge free construction, um, uh, recovery ventilation, and created both a standard and a software called the PHPP, the Passive House Planning Package, which is an extremely accurate um, energy modeling design tool that allows you to design an extremely low energy house for a given climate. Um, and so, you know, for our climate here in Salem, Oregon, um, it's entered into the, to the modeling software. And the goal is to try and hit an extremely low energy demand, both for the overall source energy of the house, but also the heating energy that's required for the house over the course of the year. And um, the passive house standard requires 4.75 kilobtus per square foot per year. Uh, and to put that into perspective, that's roughly 10% of an average home. I mean, we're, we've got a 90% reduction of, uh, of heating um, requirements.